everybody, this is Doll from Just Another Stampin' Blog, and today we're going to be working on our Halloween card number four. Okay, so let's get started. Just in case you couldn't see it, here's the window card we'll be making. We'll be using our Hearth and Homes framelits and our Happy Scene stamp set. And you can get this as a bundle in the holiday catalog for 15% off. It's a really nice set. We'll also be using the um, brick embossing folder. I'll get those out of the way. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stamp on our small mat. Um, here's my block. And the stamp that we are going to use is this one. The one with the pumpkins. And we are going to use the tip top toe. And that's what it looks like before we color. So we're going to stamp it right here in the corner. We're going to do that again. Actually, I'm going to turn it around. And we'll start over. And then we will put this aside, or we'll just uh, go ahead and glue it in the card to get that out of the way. We are going to color in our leaves, and um, we're going to use our Stampin' Right markers. I have um, Daffodil Delight. I have a real red and pumpkin pie. So we're just going to do a little bit of orange here and there. Then we'll take our real red and color in some. And then we're going to use our daffodil yellow. Perfect colors for a fall card. Or Halloween card. And then we have a pile of leaves down here we're going to color. And it doesn't have to be perfect. So we're going to put those aside. And then we're going to take our Tangelo Twist uh, stamp pad and we're going to squeeze it a little bit. Open it. And it gives us a little bit of ink on the opposite side. And we're going to um, take our little aqua painter, and they're awesome. You just give it a little squeeze. I like to daub it a little bit on paper. Put it in the ink, and do a little painting. We're going to... Take it 
and just brush it on the paper towel. It's nice and clean. And we will go ahead and kind of clean this up. And it's that easy. And then we're going to take our um, old olive and do the same. And take our aqua painter. Uh oh. There we go. And we're going to paint our grass on. Now we're going to take our Marina Mist and a sponge and we're going to, I like to make sure, I don't want it to be too dark, we're going to just go over it and I kind of daub and move in a circular motion. Let me show you what it looks like before we move on to the next step. Isn't that cool looking? I got a little bit dark here, but nobody will never know except for you guys. And yet, we're going to do the spider web with the spider hanging. And we're going to use our basic black ink. I want to make sure it's covered. Stamp it in the right hand corner. Awesome. Now we can use wishing you a happy Halloween. We're going to put that aside and use our little um, window. Oh, what are these called? Window box. And that's what that'll look like. We'll take our card. I'm going to go over it with my bone. Folder. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our brick paper. Then we're going to take a piece of uh, Tangelo Twist Happy Haunting Designer Series paper. And then we're going to glue on our window scene. And for the window I used dimensionals. So you just want to make sure it's in the middle. Oops, wrong side. So let's get a few dimensionals. And we are going to use dimensionals for the window box. And let's see, I just did it right over the bottom part of the window. And you have a cute little Halloween scene.